we're going to make seared sea scallops with sweet corn sauce and roasted tomatoes. Some of these ingredients are grown fresh in my garden so that you can utilize all those great summer veggies right here. So let's get started. First we're going to take our cherry tomatoes and roast them on a sheet pan. All you need is a little bit of oil. This is grapeseed oil, but if you don't have any, use olive oil. Then toss them around quickly so that they get covered in a little bit of oil. And then add a little bit of salt and pepper on them for flavor. And then let's pop those in the oven for about 20 minutes. The oven set at 400 degrees. Now let's work on our sweet corn sauce. So now let's cut these kernels right off our cob for our sweet corn sauce. Just slide your knife down. I usually start at the halfway point. And then I flip it over and I do the other side. Now we're gonna dice half of our onion. So take an onion, just cut it in half. And cut that in half there. And then straight up and down. And then a nice fine dice. Now we're going to saute our corn and onion together. So let's just drizzle a little bit of oil in our pan. And we'll put in those corn kernels and diced onion so we can start sauteing. Our cherry tomatoes are finished, so we're going to set those here while we saute our corn and onions. So put your temperature about medium-high heat. Stir slightly and just let those saute. You can add a little bit of salt and a little fresh ground pepper. And stir that gently together. Next we're going to add in our third of a cup of water and a couple of tablespoons of heavy cream just to make it slightly creamy when you blend it together. While that's going, we can work on our scallops. So we're going to turn on our pan to medium-high heat and get our oil hot. You want to make sure your scallops are dry so that they get a nice sear on the outside. Just sprinkle lightly with a little bit of salt. Now we're going to sear our scallops in our pan in our hot oil. Can you hear that sound? I'm going to keep them there for about a minute so the outside gets crunchy and golden brown. You want to salt the other side. Just slightly and maybe even a little bit of fresh ground pepper on the outside of those as well for added flavor. And flip those over for another minute on the other side. What a pretty color. Let's turn off the heat and let those set while we puree our sweet corn for our sweet corn sauce. If you don't have a stick blender or hand blender, you can put it in your regular blender and puree it. If you like your sauce chunky, you don't need to blend it all the way smooth. I prefer mine somewhere in the middle, so we're going to keep a few chunks for texture. Looks like it's done, so we'll remove our blender and set that aside. I think we're ready to plate. So let's first start with our sweet corn sauce. Put that over there. You want to put a couple of tablespoons for appetizer size on a small plate. If you're going to do entree size, you want to get a half a ladle full. Now we're going to put on one of our seared scallops. And 
some of those fresh roasted tomatoes to top it off. Boy, doesn't that look good. I can't wait to try it. So here we are. This is our sweet corn puree with roasted tomatoes and a seared sea scallop. Mmm, delicious, rich, succulent, perfectly cooked. You can get this recipe and many others at GinaBell.com.